In Douala, Cameroon, Kenya Airways Flight 507 is almost an hour behind schedule. Ladies and gentlemen, we are going to wait for the weather conditions to improve before we take off. A severe storm must pass before the pilots can depart. Tower, Kenya 507. Looks like there's a break in the weather. Requesting startup. Okay, 507. Startup approved. Startup checklist. Quickly, please. Uh, generators on. A few minutes before midnight, Flight 507 is finally ready for takeoff. Okay. Takeoff thrust is set. Speed building on board. Check. 80 knots. Check. V1. Rotate. Just after midnight, Kenya Airways Flight 507 finally departs for Nairobi. Suddenly, the 737 rolls dangerously to the right. The captain fights to level the plane. But it continues banking further and further right. Despite the pilot's efforts, they keep rolling. Crashing! Yeah, we are crashing. Left, Bank left. Angle. Left correction. Five hours later, the controller in Douala is ending his shift. Dula Tower. No reason I can think of. They should be there by now. Kenya Airways Flight 507 should have landed in Nairobi 45 minutes ago, but the plane has still not arrived. Sure. And no one even knows where to start looking for it. Two days later, search teams finally locate the wreckage of Kenya 507. It's three and a half miles southeast of Douala Airport. The 737 has crashed into a mangrove swamp and is submerged in mud and water. There are no survivors. 